An important part of taking a good photo is to study the color of your surrounding light and tell your camera what color that light is. This communication to the camera about the color of light is called setting the white balance. But first, a bit about color of light. All light looks white to an untrained eye, but in reality, each type of light, sunlight at daytime or sunlight in the shade or under cloudy conditions, light coming from a tungsten lamp or fluorescent fixture, are all composed of different colors. Daylight is more blue and fluorescent light is more red, for example. If you think your camera is set to shoot in a daylight setting, but you're really shooting in a setting that uses tungsten light, your image will be overly red. Again, almost all light looks white to an untrained eye. Setting your white balance or telling your camera what the color of white light is will help your pictures have proper coloring. Your camera will attempt to automatically determine the white balance when you select the auto white balance or auto mode. But you can get better results by setting a preset white balance or by manually customizing your white balance. Here's how to select a preset white balance. Press the access button when the information screen is illuminated, highlight the white balance section, then press OK. Make your desired selection, then press OK again. There are eight presets for a variety of conditions. Auto, the camera will select the white balance for you. Incandescent, use under incandescent lighting. Fluorescent, use under white fluorescent lighting. Direct sunlight, use with subjects that are lit by direct sunlight. Flash, use with built-in flash or optional Nikon flash units. Cloudy, use in daylight under overcast skies. Shade, use in daylight with subjects in the shade. Pre, white balance preset. Use a gray or white object or existing photograph as a reference for the custom white balance. To select any of the white balance settings, use the shooting menu to access the white balance submenu. Press the OK button to enter the submenu and to select the color option you want to use that suits the location or setting you're shooting in. Here is how to set a pre-white balance by actually measuring the color of a white object, card, or piece of paper to get a precise white balance to match the specific lighting conditions. Be aware that pre-white balance settings are not a one-size-fits-all solution. Custom white balance is very specific to each lighting situation. If your shooting situation changes, reset the pre or custom white balance with each location change when shooting in this mode. The first step in setting a pre white balance is to give the camera a reference for what white color looks like in the light source or setting you're shooting in. This is done by taking a picture of a white object and letting the camera make adjustments when that white picture is referenced by the camera's electronics. An 18% gray card, which can be purchased commercially, will give you the most accurate results. Frame, focus, and set exposure for the card or object so that it fills the viewfinder, then take the picture. Here's how to measure a value for preset or custom white balance. Place a neutral gray or white object under the lighting that will be used in the final photograph. Display the shooting menu and select white balance preset and press OK. Highlight measure and press OK. Press OK to confirm that you want to overwrite existing preset data. The message Take Photo of White or Gray Object Filling Viewfinder Under Lighting for Shooting will be displayed. Frame the reference object so that it fills the viewfinder and press the shutter release button all the way down. If the camera was able to measure a value for white balance, the message Data Acquired will be displayed. White balance will automatically be set to the measured value. No photograph will be recorded. If the warning you see here is displayed, the camera was unable to measure the white balance. You'll need to repeat these steps and try again. The white balance is now custom set and you'll be able to get better color results and creativity in your picture taking. Finally, your flash will usually be a bit blue in color, more so than daylight. Set your white balance mode to flash when using the flash. This gives you great frontal lighting that is also compatible with the background's lighting and color temperatures.